Hello and welcome to part 5 of this example. We are now going to create an assembly to make the finished plaque. So I have created a new model, 350mm square, and if I go into my relief layers, I've created four relief layers here base, rocks, field, grass brush. I'll create one more and rename that to stag and move that down I need the base to be at the top because everything's going to come from the base so I'm going to go into my clip art library and instead of looking on our folder that we've created called on the rocks I'm going to go into bases here we have lots of different bases and I'm going to choose sign base 20 so if I select that and I'll just move this into the middle and I'll click paste now if I close my clip art and I'll close the folder as well I'm going to my 3D view it's given me a base so that was already a pre-configured base that we have there so now I'll go into my field layer, turn off this grass brush because I don't need that, and then I'll go into my 2D view again. I'll go into clip art library. This time I need to go into the library that I had created, which is called On the Rocks, and I'll select the field and put it where I want it. At the moment it's not covering the whole base but that's not a problem because we're actually going to fade this out. So the mode, I'll change that to merge hoist and paste that. If I close the 2D and then go into 3D view, there you can see it's added in onto my base. You can see here it's over the base. That's not a problem because we're going to fade it. So create a new relief layer change this to leaves and acorns and we're going to add the leaves and the acorns so make sure that leaves and acorns is selected and select leaves and acorns and then we'll move this over to somewhere in the middle now this is a little bit too big for the base so go into the scale and just move that down until it seems about right um, maybe a bit bigger and then we'll paste that the mode again still stayed as merge hoist so we'll close that go into 3D view just make sure that it's all within the base you can see there the grass is going over the top of the leaves and the acorns so we need to change that to merge high and it will change see if it stops the grass going over the top that's because it's merged on top of it so the rocks we need to do exactly the same thing for the rocks and for the stag so we'll merge high these at the same time so we've gone to our 2D relief layer we'll select the rock and we'll move this over to somewhere in the middle change the scale of it move it right down let's say there and we'll move that up to about there and I'll paste that and now we'll move that over again change the scale again so it's a different rock apply it and then paste that and then I'll do the same thing over here change the scale again apply that and then paste it I'll do another rock here move that right down apply it, move it just over here a little this time I'm going to click add so it creates a different type of rock so I'll click paste there and I'll copy this one over to this side as well make it just a little bit smaller apply it and then paste again and then I can close that I have a look in the 3D view see now we have a rock formation 
I'll turn off the origin mark and there we have our rock formation so what we need to do now is add the stag to this so if I go back onto the 2D view and I select the stag relief layer and then select stag now if I move this onto the rock as you can see it's sticking out of the base what we need to do is to scale that down Just scale it down so it looks ok and apply it move that onto the rock that should do and the mode we want to go back to merge highest and then we'll paste that and that should have put our stag on top of the rocks so if we go into 3D view there we have our stag as you can see the legs a little bit faded in the background so I'm going to adjust the scale of the height of the stag and also the rock seems to be a little bit high we're currently on the stag layer so I'll go on to scale relief and you can see the height 2.69 so 5mm and apply it and that's pro more prominent and the rocks we're going to bring those down be about 5 mil as well so if I go into my rocks layer and I scale relief at the moment there's 7.126 if I make them say 5 mil and I'll drag that over to here let's have a look right, it's still a little bit high so I'll change it again I'll change it to 3 mil and apply it and close this and you can see that the stag is on the rocks now right so what we're going to do now is to sort out this grass so I'll go into my 2D view and I'll select create circle 80mm radius I'll preview that Select my circle centre, I'll just do this with the coordinates, 0, 0, preview that. And I'll right click to accept that. Now if I go into my 3D view, turn on the vectors, and go onto my field layer, and then fade relief. I'll select radial. For my points, I'll just type in 0, 0 select my vector to fade to and then click create and that has faded to that vector but we still have all of the grass around the edge so what we need to do now is double click the circle vector and do a zero rest on it so it deletes all of this so that's got rid of all that grass there and I'll close this and then turn off my vector visibility then we have grass that's faded into these leaves right one more thing that we need to do is to drag the grass brush in from the clip art so if I just drag that in just leave it anywhere it doesn't matter and paste it make sure that I'm on my grass brush layer then I'll close my clip art, go back into 3D view. Now I need to go onto Rock Slayer and we're going to deposit like we did earlier. Select Grass Brush as my brush. Diameter, let's say about 50. Strength of 10. Ignore because we're just doing this on the Rock Slayer. As you can see here, we've just got rocks selected. So ignore that and then just start depositing some grass around the rocks which makes it look a bit more realistic so if I go on some of you along Z and then zoom in so I'm just selecting little bits of it just add little bits of grass just so it sort of blends in with the field that we have if I zoom out you can see it's had a little effect at the bottom of the rocks which blends it into this grass quite nicely 
So I'll close my deposit tool. Now what we want to do is to add banner here. So go back into 2D view, create a new relief layer, rename that banner and I'll change that to merge high as well. Go into relief clip art library. Instead of on the rocks directory, we'll go into the banners directory. And what we'll choose is scroll. Now I'll zoom out and I'll select it again and scale. I'll just make it a little bit bigger and bring it over to my project. I'll just I'll just do this by selecting the edges and I just want it to just touch onto the leaves and that should do. I'll just bring it down so it's just over the top of the icon. I'll set the mode to merge highest again and I'll paste that. Close that. Close my clip art library and go into the 3D view and there we have our scroll over the top of the leaves as you can see it's quite tall at the moment so I'm going to bring that down using the scale relief so if I select that at the moment it's 8.75 so I'm going to bring it down to say 5mm which is more or less the same size as the stag and the rocks so I'll apply that and close it. Now that looks a bit better. So I'll zoom out. Now what I'm going to do is create some text for on the top of this banner. So I'll make a new relief layer and I'll rename that to text. I don't need to do merge high or change anything because what we're actually going to do we're going to create some text and then we're not actually going to make a relief out of it we're going to use that to machine and we're going to do some v-bit machining using that so if I go into my 2d view and click create polyline so what I'm going to do is create a new vector click draw smooth polyline so I need it to be quite smooth and then what I'm going to do is create some text which runs along this vector so there's my vector I'll click on the text tool and I'll select there on the rocks now I'll select this text it's just like any other text editor come up these are all ArtCam fonts which have been specifically adapted to work within ArtCam so I'll select Times New Roman make it a little bit bigger so let's say 15 and I'll click done select the text and select this new polyline that I've created then keep my mouse button pressed down over the letter T and you get this icon wrap text around the curve so I'll select that see how it's wrapped it around the curve so move this down and see it looks about in the middle I think that that will do 10.5 just pan this over and what you can do is you can change the spacing if you can see there the letters are quite close together so you can change the spacing if you like so they're moving or move everything around which will move around the polyline so I could leave it there if I liked I could change single words so I could move that round and move that one round or single letters which is what I'm going to do here just to move each one round so it's got enough of a gap so my v-bit carving will look right so I'll move it round move the round that looks fine I'll go back onto whole sentence because as you can see here the end of the first letter is in line with this scroll here 
but on this side it's the end of the second letter so it needs moving over to the left so I'll just move it over so it's about equal and then OK that so there we have the finished plaque which now needs to be machined